Stern here with me, and he's been known before. Um, so we got an interesting show today, um, and I don't mean by the guests that we have, but rather <laughs> what the <laughs> the products that we're going to do. Google Goggles. We wanted to give it a quick review and, and give you a quick um, brief overview of what Google Goggles is. It's an application. You correct me if I'm wrong. We actually wrote a post which we'll link to, um, but it's an application you can put on the Android and the iPhone. No, that's actually um, an issue for me since I have an iPhone, but it's an Android only app. Um, and well, it's still in Google Apps, so maybe they'll release it for both phones later. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's an Android only app that tries to, when you take a picture of a product, book, something recognizable. Um, I actually, monument, yeah, I had the yeah. print out and it says, you know, books, uh, landmarks, logos. Not good with pictures of animals, plants, cars, furniture, or apparel. So I think most of these are products that we can identify. So we're going to give it a quick snapshot. Can you start with this one? Because I'm actually thirsty. <laughs> Put that over there and scan. Well, no, that's yeah, okay. We can swap oh, okay, it. yeah, we'll swap it. Um, so this is some honest tea, yep. courtesy Mitchell's Beverages. Uh, soon to be sponsor. <laughs> okay, so we take a, a picture of the item, and try to focus in on it. And, um, and later on, well, right now for you, I'm, I'm putting the picture uh, down here so you can see the scanned picture as well as the results. What are we saying? Yeah, so uh, in terms of these results, it was dead on. It recognized that it was an honest tea bottle and, um, you know, even the, the style or the flavor. Thank God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we do find that it seems to work well with um, things with text on them. Yeah, which so it uses the uh, well. text recognition. Okay. Um, so the next object we wanted to try was something fairly common, um, a Mac Mini computer. So we take a picture of the Mac Mini. Um, now this is an Apple product, so I'm yeah, expecting I know. So that it may, it's yeah. not going to be showing up on the results. It could be because biased we're... intentionally, yeah. but there's no matches. Yeah, we're putting it down here. For so that. You're not going to see it from <laughs> Yes. Um, but, well, one, one other thing, if you, again, with the, this is the Mac Mini box. Wait, wait and the, the previous results were not found? Got nothing. For, for the picture of the Mac Mini, no results. Uh, but if you actually take the picture of the box itself, again, with the, the text on the box, it, um, it analyzes it and it does recognize that this is a Mac Mini box, at least. So not the actual Mac Mini, but the box that it comes in. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So regular everyday office product, are we doing this? Yeah. So we wanted to try a more generic um, office product or a uh, more generic thing you would see around and fairly recognizable as a stapler. And um, we get... And we're not looking for brands or anything in particular, but we get no matches. No matches. <laughs> okay. Calculator. <laughs> Office Depot. Exactly. Everybody calculator. knows what a calculator Another looks like. Another sponsor, Office Depot. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe later. This one I would think they would get. This, this one. Oh, man. This one, we got no results for the calculator. Um, but we did get better results before. We, it, it was recognized as a calculator before. Next, we have So a, they may uh, differ. Uh, iPad or iPod, iPod Nano. That's so many products. Um, iPad, iPod. Yeah. So. Since there's only about 100 million pictures of these, you would think that they would be able to get it. Again, it's an Apple product. I'm expecting no <laughs> results product. to come up. So we no, get no, no results. No results. Uh, what um, is, is this and finally, this is, some, uh, this is Mike Polos, uh, the CEO of Pathfinder Farmer. Actives. Yes. Um, hand sanitizer. Uh, he's not. I, I can tell you. He exactly, doesn't use it. Yeah, he's not exactly monk. <laughs> I don't think. But, <laughs> um, but I guess it's better safe than sorry. So we take a picture of this, and again, because of all the um, letters and characters on the object itself, it, it does, does recognize more. it like that on that it is the very nice clean well hand sanitizer. Very interesting. It's all natural. Too. Well, there you go. There's your Google Goggles review. So we did what? Two out of four, one, two, three, two four. out of five, two out of five. Okay. So there's, okay, it is Google, more, it is Google Labs. It's in the labs. Yeah. So, all right. No, so that's our review of Google Goggles. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this, you love my sign off. I know. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Take care.